USS Frost was one of many US destroyer escorts built in the course of World War II. An Edsel class ship, she was one of the last large classes to be built with three inch main guns, but as we'll see, neither this nor a comparatively late entry into the war would stop her having a rather exciting life. Laid down in January 1943 in Texas, launched in March and commissioned in August of the same year, she headed out on a two-month shakedown cruise in the Bermuda area before reporting to Charleston, South Carolina for duty. Appointed flagship of Escort Division 13, she was given her first task to test the brand new Foxer decoy, which was designed to fool early German acoustic homing torpedoes after which she escorted a series of convoys that saw her complete a transatlantic crossing to Casablanca and then back to New York by the end of the year. Training, as well as an engine problem at the start of 1944, meant that she was escorting ships and convoys up and down the US East Coast for the first few months of that year. Then, at the end of March 1944, she was assigned to Hunter Killer Group CTG 21.15 which was centred on the escort carrier USS Croatan, which was then tasked with making U-boats mysteriously vanish without a trace. In a seven-week voyage, the group managed to find and sink U-856 and U-488. The first had everything including ramming thrown at it, and the latter was spotted by one of Croatan's aircraft, and Frost shared credit for the kill after a couple of successful hedgehog salvos. The next voyage with the group was likewise successful, netting U-490, which was forced to the surface after being kept under for so long by Frost, Hughes and Inch that she ran out of air. The sub was then sunk by gunfire, with a number of survivors being recovered. Next up was the U-154, which tried to sink USS Inch, but missed with two torpedoes. Frost moved in to assist, and between the, the two of them, the escorts got a definitive kill when an underwater explosion threw up plenty of identifiable U-boat wreckage. The rest of 1944 was spent alternating between refits in the dockyard and hunting subs with the Croatan group. Although no further submarines were encountered, Frost did manage to pick up survivors from the USS Warrington in September, the latter ship having capsized in a hurricane. Early 1945 saw a bit of a step up in the world. Assigned to TG 22.5, Frost was part of the escort of USS Augusta, the cruiser that was taking President Roosevelt to the Yalta Conference, followed by a brief period helping to train carrier pilots by looking out for any of them that had ditched. Then, by March 1945, it was back to working up with the Croatan group again, and once again, a cruise would net a couple of U-boats. First up was U-880, which was picked up on the 5th, 15th of April by radar aboard USS Stanton just before midnight. Frost was detailed to assist, and in the middle of heavy seas, with the wind registering at Force 9 and the sea condition at Condition 6, it took a little over two hours to get another massive underwater explosion and upwelling of debris. An hour later, Frost's radar detected another contact on the surface, which turned out to be U-1235. Frost switched on her searchlight, illuminated the submarine, and opened fire, scoring several observed hits before the submarine dived and contact was lost in the rising conditions as Frost tried to ram, but the submarine dove a bit too quickly. Stanton, still nearby, moved in to assist, and after an hour the contact was found again on sonar, and then subjected to another 30 minutes of hedgehogs and depth charges, which ended with another large explosion and a debris field. Working her way north for an overhaul, the war in Europe ended whilst she was en route, and so she was specked out for Pacific duty, heading west upon completion of the work and arriving at Pearl Harbor in late August, with the war once again ending while she was en route. With World War II officially over, 20% of her crew were retained at Pearl for further duty, whilst their berths and some temporary ones were assigned to 60 passengers, men returning home and so Frost set off for Norfolk, Virginia via San Diego, with five submarine kills and one assist to her name. She would then be placed in reserve in Florida in June 1946, but with many newer and larger destroyer escorts still in the US Navy's inventory, this would be her last active duty. She remained in the reserves until the end of 1966, after which she was sold for scrap. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have a comment or suggestion for a ship to review, let us know in the comments below.
Don't forget to comment on the pinned post for dry dock questions.